Thank you. So as we look at this text here, uh, there's a discussion going on about fasting. And we're going to begin reading in verse number 14 now that we have instruction on, uh, uh, for this new year. And let me tell you the purpose for fasting. It's not only direction for the ministry, but it's direction in your own personal lives. Uh, this past couple of months, I've been literally inundated with ideas. I've been inundated with suggestions and with uh, propositions. Amen. And everything looks good. Everything sounds good. Amen. But I want what God has. Amen. I want his, his accurate voice. I, I want what not only sounds good, what not only what looks good, but I want God. Amen. Amen. Get to a place where we Matthew chapter 9, verse 14. The Bible begins reading, One day the disciples of John the Baptist came to Jesus and asked him, Why don't your disciples fast like we do and the Pharisees do? Amen. Here it is, John the Baptist. He's a, a young, wild man. He's eating on the backside of the mountain, uh, locusts and honey, him and his boys. They, they come to Jesus and say, you know what? Uh, uh, we heard about you. John told us about you. We've encountered you here. And we just got one question for you. How come your boys, the people that roll with you, don't conduct themselves like we do? How come uh, they're not like the Pharisees, the religious people of the day? The, like the priests, as we know it today, the Catholic priests. Uh, you can meet them down in the basement and they're doing the ritual. They're hearing the, the requests of the people. How come your people don't fast like we do? Okay, now Jesus has a response. If you'll read on here, uh, come on down to verse 15. Jesus replied, and I like how he, uh, he's not sarcastic, but he speaks in stories. He speaks in parables. He asks a question here. He says, do wedding guests mourn while celebrating the groom? Have you been to a wedding and you've seen folks crying? He said, no, that, that, that doesn't happen. Of course not. But someday the groom will be taken away from them. And then they will fast. Understand why we fast. We fast because Jesus is no longer here. Amen. He's saying, listen, uh, 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 understand young John and, and, and John's boys. The reason why uh, these people don't fast is because I'm still here. Amen. And it's when Jesus isn't here, when you don't feel him close, he says, I need you to press. Amen. I need you to get to a place where you can sense me. Amen. I need you to die to self. Amen. So you can hear my voice. Amen. Not only has Jesus been removed, amen, but there's something in your life that needs to be removed in order for you to hear the king, amen. amen. And so just for a, a, a quick little subject, if you will, I know I'm not dead, amen, but read my eulogy, please, amen. I know I'm not dead yet, but go ahead and read my eulogy. Go ahead and speak on the accolades and all the things I've done, amen, because I'm dying. I'm speaking spiritually now. Uh, concerning some things in the natural that must die. He's already given. Amen. Understand in your life God has already made the provision. He's already given what you have need of. You've yet to intersect it. You've yet to come into contact with it. Amen. But it's already been supplied. Everything you've prayed for. Everything you've asked for. It already exists. Look at somebody say it already exists. Come on. In your lifetime it's already here. Amen. You just have to. It has already been given. It has already been delivered. You just need an ear to hear. Amen. You just need to die. You need to celebrate your fear. Funeral so that the, the spirit of God can rise on the inside of you Amen. and lead and direct you. Amen. Can you imagine being in the right place at the right time but the lights are off? Come on now. God has said, I'm turning some lights on next month. Amen. But if you'll prepare yourself, if you'll sacrifice, if you'll stick to it, come on now. You're going to see that everything's in place. Amen. Come on now. Everything's so already We're not just here. fasting. We're not just abstaining from foods. We're not just being deprived of foods. There is a purpose and a mission here. Amen. Mm -hmm. There's a purpose and a mission here. Now, I want to take you quickly Matthew to 17 and Matthew. verse 17. The Bible says here, and Jesus answered and said. Now, now they, they, they had a need here. And when you look at verse 14, uh, uh, there, there was a man that came to Jesus. He fell on his knees. Uh, he was asking for mercy. But look at verse 17. And Jesus answered and said, you unbelieving and perverted generation. How long shall I be with you? You hear that? He says, how long shall I be with you? Amen. Now, there was no fast going on at this particular time because he was there. Amen. How long shall I put up with you? Bring him here to me. 
Now, everything that God did as he uh, walked the earth was an example, was an illustration, but he's no longer here. And so he uh, had some things recorded for us on what to do. Amen. And, it, and Jesus rebuked him and the demon came out of him and the boy was cured at once. Verse 19. Then the disciples, Jesus' uh, boys, if you will, came to Jesus privately and said, why could we not drive it out? Amen. There's some questions you have. God, how come I can't? And how, how come I've yet to do this and yet to do that? Verse 20. And he said to them, because of the littleness of your... Verse 21. Now, we already understand up until this point now, all it takes is a little bit of faith. Amen. He, he says, because of the littleness of your faith. I see you got little faith, and that's okay. I, 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 that'll, that'll do. That'll do, because I'll make up the difference. But in verse 21, okay, we need to mix our little faith with something. He says, but this kind... Come on now, does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Acts chapter 13. And One day, two. as these men were worshiping, now they're worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, now Paul's there, you might want to highlight that verse. Notice what they were doing. They were worshiping, number one. They were fasting, number two. And guess what happened next? The Holy Spirit had something to say. Thank you. Thank you. Remind me to see myself. Thank you. Remind me to see myself.